What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part, we did the first four levels, and um, we basically showcased all four characters. And um, this part, we're gonna do one four, and um, we're gonna use Mario. Now, uh, spoiler alert. Well, I'm spoiling. I'm basically spoiling a ten-year-old game, but um, you have to do this level twice if you're going for a completionist run. So yeah, this is like um. You basically ride on this. It's basically, it also has the same music from Mario 64. This game has a lot of throwbacks to other Mario games where, like, I, well, I just criticized in the last part in New Super Mario for you for being an uncomfortable throwback. I'd say these are better executed throwbacks than New Super Mario U was because, like, aside, there was the baby Yoshis from Mario World in that game, but, like, um, it was also the fourth in a throwback series, so, like, um, yeah. Now, if we basically, um... Now, if we go left, we'll miss out on the, uh... If we go left, we'll miss out on the stamp, and if we go right, we'll miss out on the, uh... What am I trying to say? The, uh... The star, green star, so we might as well just, uh... Go with the green star. I'm just gonna go with the stage normally. And we're going to get the green star as long as we time to jump. You have to play this stage twice anyway. Don't even blame yourself if you don't even get the flagpole because, um... You still have to come back to the stage anyway even if you do top the flagpole. They do running start though, like, um... I say that as I almost don't top the flagpole. Anyway, so, now we actually go to, um, the World 1 castle. So this is a new, this is a, uh, mechanic, this is the slot game. However, I want me that second green star. We're gonna go to the slot afterwards. We're just gonna stick with Mario for now on, I will, like, um, more further elaborate this when we get to a later point. I will, I will go back to using some of the other characters, but, uh, but, like, um, let's just say, um, there's more kind of a, uh, point I'd like to, um, stick with, I'd like to use Mario for, and I just, like, don't like to forget, like, um, you know what I mean. You know what I mean by, like, stick with Mario if you play, if you've 100% this game yourself. I try to keep spoilers to a minimum, even though I do play retro games, but, like, I don't know, like, would Super Mario 3D World be considered a retro game? Because, like, um, the Wii U is not currently being made, so, like, um, and I don't know, Super Mario 3D World is about as old as, say, like, Mario Sunshine was a decade ago, so I don't know. Actually, uh, believe it or not, Mario Sunshine is not one of my favorite games. Like, I do appreciate some of the risk it took, but, like, um, some of the shines in that game I just flat out hate getting, and, um, I just don't think it has much replay value. Like, I, I got 120 shines once, like, maybe 10 years ago. I am not interested in doing it a second time. But anyway, so now we got, uh, that armor system. Now we top the flagpole legit this time. I love that they say meow when they're in the couch suit. Like, um... I don't want to come off like a furry, but I am generally someone that likes having pets. Even though I've only ever owned dogs and not cats. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the slot game. Now, this slot game is basically, um... Blocks to make the pictures line up. You're going up to 777 coins. You're gonna actually for every every one coin you collect. So you basically want to time this. So I'm gonna time, I'm gonna look, I'm basically gonna, um... So we get the boomerang. So you kind of want to... It's after Tanuki. 
hit it too early. This is so much easier when you're playing multiplayer, because all four you can just hit at the same time. Alright, so... Now we're gonna do the, uh, last remaining normal stage in World 1, World 1, 5. And again, we're gonna stick to Mario, because... Well, you'll see later on. Now, this is the first one, this is the first save with the switches, so, um, you, sw you step on them, or they turn on or off. Now, I didn't know until I played this recently, um, I am playing this using the gamepad, so if you just start with the gamepad, I did not know that until, like, um, I started researching for this playthrough. Come on, let's, let's see if we can do this again. Okay, you can do it when you're on them. So you, um... Yeah. We're playing it the lazy way. Now, you normally need the cat suit, but if you have wall jumping skills, you can just use it that way. Now there's... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of a different level that has that, uh, point. And we'll do it the normal way. Now let's do it the cheap way this time. Okay, we're small. Alright. We shouldn't play too many risks. If I'm not even using a stylus. Now we're gonna put out the cat suit. Thank God we have one in our inventory. Am I gonna fail this? Alright, there's the fire flower. And there's a mini game. Now I know which one has the um Am I thinking of a different level? Okay, that one. I was thinking of a different level the whole time. Some of the post-game stages in this game are graphical redesigns of the same level, so um that's one thing I'm that kinda gives uh that's one thing that kinda take, gives this game an L take. I'm just waiting for the green star up here so I don't have to uh, go back on the things again. And let's see if we can swipe it. Oh yeah. Now, you may be wondering why we got to the end of the stage and we don't have the stamp. That's because you have to basically wall jump for it. Now, uh, now this is kind of where we go, we go if you're Mario Go. If you're Mario or Toad on top of the cycle, get a running start and then a long jump. That should be a consistent method if you're using Mario or Toad and you don't have a cat suit. Alrighty, so there's one more thing we have left to do. This is where the, this is where Captain Toad segment this game. Captain Toad goes forth. Now this is a solid Wii U game that's modeled after this Captain Toad Treasure Trackers. Um, it's a really solid game. I I, I picked it up like maybe while prepping for this playthrough. I'd say it's a pretty solid game. It's not it's not a game like um I'd play play I'd play through on this channel. You basically search for the uh, five green stars and uh. Move the camera, and also, Captain Toad can't jump, so if you try to jump, like, no. Basically, Captain Toad are basically, is basically, like, a puzzle-oriented portion of the stage. Which, nice addition to have a Captain Toad portion, because, like, previously in games like Super Mario Galaxy, like, Captain Toad were kind of, like, side characters that gave you stars, so, like, um... It is nice to, like, play some portions of this game with it, his perspective. 
I'd say, however, some Captain Toad portions are pretty bad. Hey! Hey, I didn't like stuck in the mic and it activates that! Because normally I have to blow in those. I did not know that! I did not know you were just talking to the. Because I'm using the gamepad to play this. You... Alright, so that gives us five green stars, so um, you can use control the camera, single player, and we'll give it a try. Now, there's one last thing I want to tackle in uh, World 1 before we go to the castle. If we get it here, it acts like a toad house. And we get the good stuff. Like a cat suit. You're gonna want a cat suit for the next level. And keep in mind also, this game auto saves. Like, um, auto saving might not be the. Auto saving is like cursing, is like a curse for people that do playthroughs. Anyways, we're gonna. We're just gonna stick with Mark. If anyone's qualified to face Bowser, it's easily Mario. Like, yeah, she can do it with other characters, but it's not as fitting, if I could say. Now, this is the first level. Actually, I'm where after Jeff puts in that block after this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, um, wait, what's in that block? Okay, it's just coins. That's what, that's what you get when your curiosity peaks. Like, you don't know something about games you've played, like, a dozen times. I'd say, say I've beaten this game maybe a dozen times. I've maybe 100% this maybe seven or eight times since it was new. I think I'm including the practice playthroughs. So, like, um... I'd say I know what I'm doing with the two practice playthroughs. And there's finally... Okay, that looks like that's like a soccer ball or a football if you're in Europe. <laughs> you can call basically whatever you want. I honestly don't care. Like, um, there are a lot of people that say like um, Europe that like football that like soccer isn't real football, and there are a lot of people in Europe that say like American football is real football. It's like me as a non-sports fan, I'm like, okay, so what? Yes, yeah, sports was never my thing. You know, Bowser's got this, like, monster Cadillac or something. I don't even think that looks like a Cadillac. I am not good with car models. Especially vintage cars. Now, if you actually get the soccer bombs to land on Bowser, uh, that counts as a double hit. Wow, we're gonna just insta-kill him, because I think one more hit will do it. Now, he's gonna start breathing fire at some point, like that. Oh, that was it! That was it! And there's a, uh, coin which it actually gives us a 1-up. That's nice. I'd say maybe this game hands 1-ups like candy. Not as frequently as they do with Super Mario 3D Land, but they still do. Mario 3D Land, they hand 1-ups like absolute candy. Now here's the test see if I have to replay this level, because I'm just gonna... That, we're just gonna utilize the trick. Get a nice running start, and, um... Get a nice running start... Get a nice running start. Oh yeah. I'm saying that along with Mario.
Naruto does it for our World 1 of Sumo and 3D World, so, um, next time on World 2, next time, not next time on World 2, next time on Sumo and 3D World, we're gonna see what's up in World 2. See you guys then.